Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And in today's video, we'll be talking about and breaking down who are the longbow hunters for the main villain of Arrow Season 7. So let's discuss. Also, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, be sure to head to my podcast channel, which is called Honor Thy Podcast. It is a weekly DC TV Arrowverse podcast to do with my good friend Dan McCants, aka Mule Kick Media. So if you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to head to the link in the description down below. So the Longbow Hunters are a pretty famous group within the New 52 of the uh, DC comic. I'm pretty sure it was New 52. I may be wrong there. Um, I'm pretty sure it was New 52. Maybe it was Rebirth. I don't, I'm not too sure. Um, but basically, they are a group of highly skilled assassins led by Richard Dragon and also featured the members of Red Dart, Brick, Count Vertigo, and also Killer Moth. And it was quite obvious that at some point these characters were going to be introduced at some point due to their deep connection to Richard Dragon and also with their connection to the Green Arrow himself. We kind of figured out that perhaps the Longbow Hunters would come in when Ricardo Diaz was introduced in Arrow Season 6. We thought, okay, here's our connection, here's how it's going to come in. And over, you know, in the Season 6 finale, we did hear Ricardo Diaz name drop the Longbow Hunters, which is a pretty famous thing in Arrow where they'll drop the next main villain uh, in the in the season prior so you know like in season three we got damien dark in season um in season six in season five we got caden james you know things like that you know we, you get those little hints and those little drops about what's to come next like in season two we got Ra's al ghul as well um so it was kind of like those little hints and we got that and in the season six finale like i said they were name dropped by ricardo diaz and over comic-con it was officially confirmed that the longbow hunters are going to be the main villains for arrow season seven and we also got the the lineup as to who the longbow hunters are going to be in the show and who's going to play them so let's break that all down so i'll start off with red dart now red dart is a character from the comics she is also a member of the longbow hunters in the comics this is the only uh, member of the longbow hunters in the show who's actually a member of the longbow hunters in the comics this is the only one that they're actually bringing over although to be fair they did say that they weren't going to reuse characters that means they couldn't use brick or they couldn't use vertigo so i guess this was kind of like the only one they could use and also if you do want to count ricardo diaz as, as richard dragon he's there too um but red dart is a very badass assassin she's pretty much a on the point marksman she's very much you know this is a female character also she's very much a ruthless and precise killer that's how she's being described and she seems pretty cool she has a very uh, interesting look her look is all pretty much all red as you would imagine she has pretty cool goggles she has a really awesome haircut in the comics obviously all this stuff can be changed and, and, and swapped around as the show continues on and as the you know look comes through because i'm sure we'll see these characters pop up um maybe in the next trailer for arrow season seven because um episode two of season seven is called longbow hunters so i am assuming that's where they'll be introduced and we'll see uh, them come through there i like the fact they're introducing them quite early on i like that um so red dart is definitely one of the more interesting ones out of all the members of the longbow hunters from the comics this was the one i expected to come through just because i think they fit arrow very well and i think also again due to what they said they wouldn't reuse characters but i like the idea of red dart coming to the show and how they're actually going to use her in the show and what her role within the longbow hunters is going to be and how much impact she's going to have on oliver and also team arrow i think it's very very exciting cast in the role of red dart is holly ellisa now this is quite an obvious choice just because although i haven't seen her in anything she was actually in supernatural which is of course another cw show as i've mentioned on this and also the podcast many times the cw they like to keep their castings in house they like to cast actors and actresses who have appeared on their own shows so for example holly ellisa who has been cast as red dart was on supernatural uh she was also in a show colony which i was quite interested in uh, very very recently as uh, she plays a character called iris on that funny enough uh, but she was on Supernatural for quite a while. She was on Supernatural from 2008 to 2016, so she was there quite a while. So again, keeping the actors in-house, she is from Supernatural, another CW show, so this kind of makes sense. I can't really give an opinion on pretty much any of these actor choices because I don't know them. But again, the fact that she's from Supernatural makes perfect sense to me. The second member of the Longbow Hunters is Silencer, and she is being described as a master of stealth. Now, I'm going to assume this character was the one we got in that character description the one that we all thought was batwoman you know the one that said you know she could jump into a room take out 10 guys and then zip out and no one would know uh, i think that's who this character was i think that's who this was they were casting here it wasn't batwoman it was actually silencer um which i did say if it wasn't batwoman it was most likely going to be a member of the longbow hunters so there we go uh this character like i said being described as a master of stealth i don't really know much about silencer in the comics i've never really heard of her to tell you the truth um but i still think that this character you know the fact that she's a master of stealth the fact she's going to be able to just 
just zip around and take out these guys in a very, you know, Batman type fashion, I think is very interesting. And a character I really want to see on Arrow, especially because Arrow is so Batman inspired at the end of the day. Um, you know, I feel like this character would be a really awesome challenge, maybe to see fight Oliver. I think that'd be really cool. Um, or maybe fight Roy if he's the Green Arrow at this point, which is likely. So that'd be really awesome just to see that, just to see these fights, you know, against the Green Arrow, whether it is Oliver or Roy. I think it's going to be really sick to see that. And I think Silencer is definitely going to bring that element to the show. So that excites me definitely cast in the role of Silencer is Miranda Edwards and funnily enough this actress was also from Supernatural. I don't know what her extent on Supernatural was um, but all I will say is that she was on Supernatural so again that casting makes sense. Um, you get a lot of actors from Supernatural coming over to the Arrowverse just because Supernatural is their longest running show. You know they're on like what season 14, 15 now? So they've had a lot of years and they've had a lot of different actors on the show so again it makes sense that you get an actor from Supernatural. Uh, again I don't really know a lot about the actress, I can't really say a lot about her in that regard but the fact that she is from Supernatural again Again, another CW show makes sense. You can bring her over to the Arrowverse, no problem. Um, just keep that in-house casting that the CW like to do. And yeah, I mean, she looks, she definitely looks the part. Like if you look at the actress, if you look at the picture now, and you know, you compare to the picture I showed before of Silencer, you can see she definitely looks the part. She looks very dead on, very comic accurate. So that's always good. And I feel like she's going to do a good job with this role. So let's just, you know, make sure that she does do a good role. And let's hope that she does when it comes out in October. And that was an awful way to describe it. So let's just move on quickly. <laughs> And the other member of the Longbow Hunters, the final member of the Longbow Hunters, is Kodiak, and he is being described as a beast man with brute force. Now, I'm going to assume this was the other character description we got around the same time, which was describing, you know, this big, bulky guy, uh, who a lot of people were pinpointing to be Blockbuster, who a lot of people said, oh, he's going to be in the prison with Oliver. But uh, I feel like this character is actually... That, that was actually for another member of the Longbow Hunters, and that was this guy uh, in the form of Kodiak. Um, again, I don't really know a lot about Kodiak. Um, but, you know, I know quite a bit about Red Dot, but I don't really know about the other two so much, um, which is always good for me just to kind of explore the, co the comics a little bit more. But Kodiak is definitely seeming an interesting character. This is obviously the big one. This is like the weapon of the team, you know, the, the big guy. And I feel like, you know, every kind of superhero team is going to need that. It always needs the muscle, and that's who this guy is. So he's obviously going to be the one they're going to struggle to take down. I feel like this is going to be a fight against something similar to, you know, like Brick in Season 3. It's going to be like that, because um, obviously Brick was a big guy. I feel like it's going to be kind of similar to that. So I feel like this is going to be an interesting fight to see. Again, fight the Green Arrow, whether it's Oliver, whether it's Roy, just to see who he's actually going to take on and how they're going to take him down if he's such a big guy, which he definitely seems to be. So I'm definitely down for this character introduction to the show. Michael Johnson is the name of the actor who has been cast in the role of Kodiak and funnily enough this guy was also on Supernatural so all these actors and actresses who are playing the Longbow Hunters have all come over from Supernatural this guy has been on Supernatural from 2009 to 2018 so he's on the show you know very very recently um, so that's very cool that they're bringing this guy over especially because he's gonna, you know I assume he's not on Supernatural anymore he might be but um, I assume he's going to be a recurring role in Arrow this season he was not going to be you know a series regular so again he might flip back and forth into Supernatural I don't watch Supernatural myself so I don't really know who his character is or you know whether he's in or out of the show uh, but you know I know he's gonna be like a recurring role so he might be able to pop back in but who knows but again it makes sense the fact that he comes from Supernatural another CW show bringing him over makes perfect sense and also just looking at this guy you know when I first heard about you know this big beast guy who's gonna be Kodiak I kind of thought okay well who's the actor and looking at photos of him he's massive like this guy is a big guy to begin with he doesn't even have to really bulk up um this guy is pretty intimidating like if i came face to face with this guy i'd be pretty scared uh so again makes sense this casting seems to be pretty dead on uh, the game the castings you know in terms of their looks quite close as well like i said this guy uh very big very bulky matches it the actress who's playing silencer looks very comic accurate so they're keeping it very there also i've just realized as well this actor michael johnson he was also in the 100 as well which is another cw show so again keeping it there so this actor it makes perfect sense he actually seems to be pretty perfectly fit for this role so i'm perfectly down for this but what do you guys think about the longbow hunters and being the main villain for arrow season seven make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below what do you think about the castings have you seen these actors and actresses and other things if you have make sure you tell me if they're any good because like i said i haven't seen any of these before so it's kind of down to you guys now to kind of let me know i'm sure a lot of you as you know arrowverse fans and you know cw fans i'm sure a lot of you watching this probably watch supernatural so make sure you let me know uh how these guys are in supernatural i might check them out just to see you know so i can get a good idea of who they are before they show up on arrow next season and make sure you let me know and your opinions on the members like are you happy they've changed them from the comics or would you rather have them kept the comic book accurate version make sure you let me know everything you have to know about this in the comment section down below 
So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It will help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, hope to see you again in my next video.